Welcome back to Mitzi Creek Farm. It has been a minute because we have had a crazy month and I literally could not fit uh, filming into my schedule. As, as you know, Sydney, our oldest daughter, graduated from college out in California uh, towards the end of April. And then we got home and we had two weeks of plant sales. And then last week was our middle, middle daughter Lily's graduation from high school. And then today was our very first market uh, for the market that we go to. It's the first and third Saturdays of the month, but it is uh, starts Memorial Day weekend. So we have another market this next Saturday and then we go to our normal schedule. So it has been absolutely nuts. And I will be honest, I am exhausted. It was super windy and sunny for today's market. And now it's starting to rain. The wind has died down, thankfully. And so I thought I would come down and try to get a little bit of work done here in the high tunnel and see if I can I need to water. I need to pick up. It's kind of a disaster. Um, and I thought I would give you guys a little update on where we're at at the farm. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I, it was super windy in here. Um, the sides were down today. So things are looking really rough. But this is what it looks like after you bring a couple hundred plants to a market. This is what we have left. So that is good. I need to water in here, obviously, because those guys are looking really rough. I really have been struggling with it being really hot out, but then the wind getting super strong. And um, in fact, Lily's graduation was extremely um, windy and extremely hot. And uh, when it's super windy, we want to have the sides rolled up because uh, that way the wind doesn't catch kind of the top here at least the prevailing wind side. And so then it makes it even more hot in here. So um, I've been struggling with that. We got to get the shade cloth on this and then that'll help quite a bit. So then hopefully this weekend, which is Memorial Day weekend, uh, we can get the top on here and uh, that'll take a little bit of pressure off of me. As far as an animal update goes, we have chickens on pasture, which is wonderful. And about three days after we got them on pasture, we got a phone call from our chick place uh, saying that our next batch was in. And I was not expecting that. That was a lot earlier than I was expecting. So uh, we just are going with it. And so we have a whole nother batch of meat birds in the brooder right now. And the cows are also out on pasture. I'm not quite sure if you can see on that. And the sheep are also on pasture also known as our front yard because that is the best pasture of this whole property. And it's starting to rain, but I wanna get these guys watered. I switched to an organic soil this year, all organic, instead of doing um, pro mix and then Pro mix organic for certain things. And I can tell you that the it's better to spend the money on the pro mix because I'm really struggling with keeping things consistently watered. It's starting to thunder and lightning. I was not expecting that, but I'll take it. A couple weeks ago, we were planting some bare root apple trees and this one is starting to not only flower, but leaf out. Uh, it's kind of got the order wrong, but that's okay, I think. But you can see we have lots of blossoms on it. We probably won't get any apples off of this one this year. Uh, that way it can focus into root development. But this looks like it's going to be a really happy tree. As long as the animals don't lean against the fence and try to eat it. We're currently also in the midst of all this experiencing something we've never had before. We have a ewe who has mastitis and so we need to treat her every night. And so um, right now we have to make sure that the sheep are in the barn at night so that we can catch her and treat her. But she's doing a lot better so she wants to go out with the flock every day instead of staying in a jug with her lamb. So um, right now we just have this kind of shoot area 
going from that gate all the way over into the yard and so that they can come over and graze the yard. And I know that it looks like it is not, it just looks like an unmowed yard, but this stuff is over uh, my knees, almost halfway up my thighs. So you can see that is how high this is. Super, super, super thick. So in the previous years, what we've done is after we've run the meat birds through here, we've planted pasture seed. That way we can utilize this for grazing. And with it being right in our front yard, we can keep an eye on everybody really easily. And it allows us to, in these weird seasons where not quite ready for pasture, we can graze them through here. It saved our butt last year with grazing um, because of the drought. And so this works out really well. So we have the netting up, they can come over here and graze, and then they all head back to the barn when the mosquitoes are too bad, which they're getting to be pretty thick again. You know how beautiful my perennial garden is. The daffodils and everything are just ending. We have some late blooming tulips going. Um, there's some allium over there, but this is looking really great. My peonies are doing great. I've got sedum and echinacea and uh, I don't remember what that is. And then I have salvia and delphinium, dianthus, all that in here. And I am so happy with how this is looking and uh, it feels like it's really getting there. A whole bunch of these are daylilies. So once the tulips stop, the daylilies should start. And this is looking great. I do have quite a bit of weeding to do back there. I'm actually gonna take that bench out, plant a whole bunch of hostas in there and um, get the bench moved because I like going in and sitting in there quiet times of the day. That's some good thunder. Oh, and in fact, I'm trying to get everything finished up for um, moving the ewes to one of these back pastures or getting them started on rotational grazing. And so what we will end up doing is they're back here working and um, we will get the ewes put back here and then we'll actually move the rams to up in front, but we can't do that until that ewe finishes her treatment, her mastitis treatment. So they're getting that done, but they're trying to work in between storms and get as much done this weekend as possible. We also need to plant pumpkins this weekend too. So it is, um, it's an all hands on deck weekend, but then hopefully after we get these couple big things done, things will start calming down and we'll get into more of a routine. Hey bud, Hello. how you doing? Probably time with the lightning, probably time to come in soon too. Well, it looks like we're getting rained out of this video. It is what it is, I guess. So we are gonna go in, we're gonna call this quits, but on the next video, I will show you guys what we are doing here for the sheep, for rotational grazing and getting everybody moved for the summer and show you a couple other projects that we've been working on. Uh, so those will be the next few videos. But that is it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.